in the storyline forum today at eLearning Heroes, the question popped up about how to customize the review information that learners see when they get to the end of a quiz and they're at the result slide like we are here and they hit this review quiz button. Now normally what happens when they hit that button is they're taken back through their questions and they get to see whether they got the questions right or wrong. So here's our first question. Obviously we got this one incorrect. If we hit next, here's the second question. This one we got right. And then if you keep hitting next, eventually you know you end up back here at the result slide. But what about if you want to include some additional content during that quiz review for certain questions? Like maybe for some questions you want to add some remedial information, or maybe you want to add you know a movie or a character or some more text or really any kind of content that would you know help the learner understand why they got the question right or wrong. Well, it's really easy to do that. I'm going to show you how. So we'll close this preview out. And what you want to do is go to any question slide where you want to add or customize some review information. And then you want to hit this edit button right up here above the triggers panel. You can see mine says edit true false because I'm working with a true false question here. When you click that button, you're going to end up at this form view of the question editor. This should look familiar because this is where you set up the question initially. And then right down here at the bottom, you're going to find this little field called post quiz review. And if you want to, you can enter some text there that you want your learner to see during the quiz review. So I'll just go ahead and enter some there. And then now if we hit save and close, see what happens right down here in the slide layers pane? Storyline created this review layer for us. And this is where that text is going to display to the learner. And this layer is only going to show up during the quiz review. Now, um, if you don't like the way this looks, like maybe you don't like the color of the box or whatever, you can change that. This is actually just a regular old slide layer um, and it works just like any other slide layer. So you could add more stuff if you wanted to maybe insert a character or something, like we'll just insert this guy here. You know, you could add whatever you want here and make the review feedback look you know, as customized as you want. So if I wanted to change this color of this box, that's easy to do. I could come up to the format tab and use any of these options or on the home tab, I could change, you know, the font or the size or whatever. Now, another way though, to make changes like that is to go to your feedback master because that's actually where this slide layer is originating from. So to get there, you can come up to the view tab and then hit feedback master and the feedback master that we're using for that review feedback layer is called review feedback layout. You can see the name will appear if you uh, if you hover over the thumbnail there at the left. So this is all it looks like. There's just a placeholder here right now and this is where that text ends up. But if you wanted to maybe change the location of it, you could move it to someplace else, maybe change the size to something, you know, bigger. Maybe this is where you want to add a character. Like if you wanted, you know, every single feedback layer um, or review feedback to appear you know with this particular character you could do something like that and now if we go back to our normal view see how the changes that we made on that feedback master are now carrying through to um, you know the the feedback layer on this individual slide and these changes would carry through to all the questions where we've used a review layer so um, it's kind of a nice way to make you know some global changes now what if you don't really want to go with this you know captiony kind of look at all well that's okay too you can still take advantage of the review layer that gets created and you can just customize it to look however you want so um, let me just go to a different slide here and we'll do that we'll jump to the question editor by hitting the edit true false button and then down here in the post quiz review I'm just going to actually enter a blank space I'm not going to enter any text there and then we'll hit save and close because no matter what you enter in that field it'll still create that review layer for you and here's where I could you know customize things or if I don't want that caption at all I can just turn off the visibility and it's gone and you'll see the you know the um, character that we inserted on that feedback master is still showing through but here I can add more stuff if I want to like I can you know drag a picture here and format it I can add you know some more text if I want to I can make this look however I want it functions just like a regular slide layer does so now if we preview this we'll just take a look at some of the changes that we made so we'll go ahead and answer our questions both of the questions and get to our result slide now if we hit review quiz here's a question that we got incorrect and you can see the changes on the um, caption that we made you know on the feedback master and then if we hit next this is the one that looks a little bit more customized because we took the caption away and you know added the picture so pretty neat feature to be able to customize your review feedback to look however you want in Articulate Storyline.